Hello, musicians. It is Miss Bailey, and it is time for another mystery instrument of the week. Are you ready for this week's instrument? Hello, musicians. Here is this week's mystery instrument of the week. I bet you all know what that one is. You've been waiting for a while for that sound, haven't you? Here are your clues. Clue number one. This instrument has a synthetic skin on it, a synthetic head. Sometimes they may have used animal skin to create that head, but we're using synthetic materials now. Clue number two. This instrument is typically played with your hand, not a mallet. Clue number three. This particular drum has a frame or a body that the skin, the head, is connected to. In fact, most of these instruments have a frame in which the skin or the head is connected to. Do you know what this week's mystery instrument of the week is? If you said a drum, then you would be correct. Now I have here today, I'm playing what's called a floor tom. It's like a little miniature drum. There's the head and you can see that that's just like a synthetic material in there. Here's the frame or the body. This is where it's connected. They've got a little ribbon around it to keep that tight. And when I play it, I'm going to use my fingers on the edge of the drum. And by playing on the edge, I get a nice ringing sound. Now, of course, I could put my hand right into the center. Whoops. Now that one doesn't make them the nice booming sound that some of my other drums do, but you can play it with fingertips on the edge. You can play it with your hand in the center and get a louder sound, a more vibrant sound. And here's the thing, drums come in many different shapes and sizes. In fact, I'd like to take you on a little tour of my room and let you see all the different kinds of drums that you might find in a music room, but also the drums in my music room are really representative of drums all around the world, right? because drums are found in almost every culture and every society around the world. And I don't have every kind of drum there is, but I have a lot and I'd love to show some of them to you. So hold on just a second. All right, so the first set of drums that you're looking at are called conga drums. And those conga drums are different sizes. And when I talk about different sizes, you might look at them and go, they look the same heights to me. But drums, we don't measure by their height, we measure the width of the drum head. So one of those drum heads is 12 inches across and the other is 14 inches. And then you can see back in that corner and right here I have many, many tubanos. And again, we have three different size tubanos. We have 14 inch, 12 inch, and 10 inch tubanos. Right in front of the tabano, you can see that there is a bongo drum. It's also kind of rainbow colored there too. And it looks kind of similar to that conga drum in that there are two drums and two different size heads, but our conga, excuse me, our bongo drums are attached to one another. And then here we have a jambe and a jambe, you can see sort of looks like an ice cream cone shape. And the jambe is from West Africa. And then we have our ngoma, which is another drum that we use in our classroom. And then if you're looking up on the wall, you can see we have many different frame drums and I like to put them up on the wall so we have easy access to them. We can go grab them and play them in music class. And you might even spy below those drums that there are additional drums in, in our room. Uh, underneath the cabinets. And those are drums that we'll get to explore another time. So thank you so much for listening to our mystery instrument of the week and exploring many of the different drums we have in our elementary music room. Bye-bye.